And when I say mock, I mean I keep using that word. I don't think it means what I think it means. I mean, you know, there's making fun, which is what I do, and mocking, which is what I do to other people. And there's being a hypocrite, which is what I am, and I think I lost my train of thought there. But, that, but then there's being vicious. Anyway. Oh, oh. <laughs> Anyways, five out of five secrets. Amazing. Yeah. No, read the stuff. Or don't. <laughs> Cut! You didn't hear nothing. I don't like getting in between two powerful families. Inevitably, I'll end up on one of the other's bad side, and the last thing I need is more enemies in the city. But the money was too good to pass up. And besides, the Highwaters are one of the wealthiest families in Aldale, so I'm sure to pick up plenty more loot for my bonus. To my surprise, Fairbanks had a rough map of the Highwater estate and the mansion, including the location of the office safe, which is likely to be the home of the Emerald Formula, or at least some other valuables. Still, I'm a little anxious about this job. It feels like I'm getting into something bigger than it appears. But the rents do. So if I do get my hands a little messy, I guess I'll just have to find a way to wash them when I'm done. Here we go. It's rather difficult to find a way to wash your hands in these ye old times. You may also notice that the movies are not real movies. They're in-game and hence they're super high res. But hence, also, they're not super black and white stylized-ish, so... Plebita, 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 plebita. Anyways, I'm trapped in by this guy, so let's play a game of marbles with him and become BFFs, shall we? Say, where are Hal and Jocelyn? Didn't you hear? They pulled the basement shit. We probably won't see them for hours yet. What a crummy lot to draw with Master on vacation. Better for us, then, hey? Should be getting back to the front gate. See you back here in a couple hours, then. Righto. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, <coughs> people are sometimes having problems with thief missions, and so they post on threads, and they take those threads and snip them right out of their towels, and then you just throw them in the wash with your jeans and your spikes and your safety pins and your knives and your scissors and... I just don't know what the problem could possibly be. But anyways, what you really gotta do is you gotta bust in this window here. Let's nod. That was a reference to somebody who was my friend back when I was a kid. He used to say, let's nod. <sighs> I'm a master of the anecdotes. Oh, and... Oh, no. Whatever. And if you want to turn off all the street lamps, you might get an achievement. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm inside. So we got to find the formula, find the stolen sword, which makes it sound like it's optional, but it isn't. Well, the last mission, the guy made it sound like it was an optional thing, but nah. And find some dirty laundry. Well, you can only do laundry on Fridays. He's not allowed any other day. There could be ants in the refrigerator. Also the washer. When they get in one appliance, they get in all of them. They sort of transmit through the air. Quantumly non-local ants. I just love the term quantum non-locality. It makes me sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. No year, no diary. Life as a guard here at High Water is boring, monotonous, tedious, and did I mention boring? I almost wish we'd have a thief break in or something. Anything to break the monotony and make me actually earn my pay. Not that it's all that great. Benny's about the only thing amusing in this place. He's so stupid and acts like such a buffoon, everyone thinks he must be drinking on duty. But I think that, in reality, he's usually sober and just a complete idiot. Rumor has it he's been fired from most previous jobs for being drunk on the job. I bet a week's pay it was really incompetence and possibly incontinence. 
Henry doesn't believe me about Benny, and he even offered to wager me on it. He bet me a week's pay that Benny will pass out drunk when the family goes on winter holiday in a few days. I've got to figure out what to do with the money. The High Warners left for winter holiday at their country estate in the south this morning. It wasn't an hour before staff started sneaking bottles of wine from the game room and cellar and having a grand old time with all the Victrolas blaring. William was dancing with Esther in the ballroom, the lucky bastard. I don't think she really likes him, though. The good news is that so far my pal Benny is staying sober and on duty in the main foyer. Henry's getting angry, saying it's only because he's on duty with Roger, the shift leader, that he isn't getting plastered. I told him tough shit and a deal's a deal, so he'd better be ready to pay up tomorrow. Ah, good. Anyway, you may notice I'm just not taking any shit anymore. Because, well, I'm tired of taking shit. What am I gonna do with this shit? Stuff it up my backside? I don't think so. You've got it backwards there, son. And if you don't know your shit forwards from backwards, then what are you doing shit? Also, I lost the game. As last video didn't get an advertiser unfriendly, although it did get a copyright content match, so... <laughs> That's worth half a point instead of one point, but I lost the chain bounce, unfortunately, so... Isn't that always how it happens? The minute... The minute you... I... I can just be... Doing shit by accident all day long, and the minute I actually consciously realize and acknowledge it, it stops being able to be done by me. It's not even funny anymore. I know it sounds funny, but it ain't anymore. And, you know... I don't talk about this a lot. In fact, I don't think I talk about it at all. Because nobody's saying would, so I'm not actually going to then. Never mind. We can't have anybody finding those posts I made on an old dead heavy metal forum when I acted like a teenager during the time when I was a teenager. That would be horrible. I probably suggested Annihilator should play Hell is a War at <laughs> one time. I mean, God, I, I I probably spammed up the forum thread before the forum closed one time. But it was all in fun and everybody knew it. But <laughs> still. <laughs> smells like old meat. Hush. Hush, sweet harlot. That's a mission. I haven't played it. I guess I probably never will either. Whoever hears a lockpick, that's rare for that to happen. Rare indeed, but not in thought. It's apparently ukulele got mixed reviews because it's not 1998 anymore. I guess so. It does seem pretty, pretty, pretty old school, but Ahead in Time is a great game. Did I mention that? Hey, you. What's over there? Your dog uh, meat. Hmm. <laughs> well, never mind, I guess. Yeah, that is weird, but... This is expert, and by gosh, I'm sticking to it. And I'm even going to stick to it during those missions that everybody complains about. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to constantly say, hey guys, these missions are not that bad. So stop opining things that are different from my opinions. <sighs> Except I'm not, because I consciously realized I was. And so, oh, no, no. Dear diary, I got a new job on the guard staff at the Highwater Estate. This place is real big and fancy. Meets the hell out of being a grunt for the City Watch. Pays 10G more a week, and nothing much really goes on. So my biggest problem will be avoiding boredom. Captain is a fellow named Ellensworth. He seemed a bit hardened, like he's had a rough life. Yells at us a bit, and sometimes is mean to the staff. But as my pa used to say, if you want a tight ship, you need a mean bastard running the show. Dear diary, nothing much going on. Ellensworth chewed out Benny the other day for being a stupid sod. Don't know what he did, but he probably deserved it. Captain Ellensworth jumped all over Esther today for serving him cold soup. When he slapped her, I cringed a little, and when I saw the blood on her cheek and the anger in her eyes, it was really hard to just stand there. I almost said something, because I kind of like Esther. She's awfully pretty, but I figured it wasn't worth risking my job over. 
Besides, I think I'm damn close to getting moved to a post indoors, which would be great because of this frigid weather. I get to spend five minutes an hour in here warming by the fire while on duty, but I'd much rather have the whole shift in the warm inside. Well, shit. Today it was my turn to feel the captain's wrath. All I did was ask him if I might get an indoor shift next week to get in out of the cold, and he turned to me with those eyes. I swear, they turn red when he's angry, and told me that if I valued my job, I'd quit complaining and get used to the cold, because I'll be out there until the spring thaw. Seems this job wasn't as cushy as I thought. May have to ask my brother in Stone Market if there's an opening at the Rutherford place. I don't relish the thought of being an icicle for two more months. Family is leaving on winter holiday tomorrow. Helen told me what to expect while they're gone. The staff lets their hair down a bit, raiding the wine and slacking off a bit. But also that Ellensworth becomes unpredictable. Seems he ignores the indiscretions much of the time, but then will decide to exert his authority randomly when Lord H isn't around. I think my best bet is to lay low and stay out of trouble. Otherwise, I may end up punching that bastard in the face, and something tells me that wouldn't be in my best interest. Good news. I saved up enough to get Mum a nice brooch and a bracelet. I'll take him to her next week. These people love their mothers. I guess, sure. Dear Diary, well, I never expected this. On my way outside to go on duty, I saw Hazel passed out at the reception desk outside Lord H's office and Harve drunk off his ass on the balcony overlooking the courtyard. Damn, Helen wasn't joking when she said the staff let their hair down when the family's away. I'm just going to lay low as I planned, though, and stay sober and trudge around out here. It's a pretty light snow tonight and not too cold, and I'll have a mulled ale by the fire in here when I get off duty. Too bad Esther won't be here to keep me warm. She rejected my casual advance, so I just told her I was joking to not look like a fool. I need new boots already. Fine. So, yeah, I'm trying to get the street lamp achievement that doesn't exist, because, yeah, it'd be funny if somebody made a mission with achievements, and by funny, I mean everybody would punch him. <laughs> Mafia like to punch and be punched. He's a very... Very, 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 very erotic. Also, you're not trick Mafia. Mafia know you put vase down and nothing go wrong. <laughs> Let's eat an apple in celebration. Nothing much to celebrate here, if we're being perfectly honest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's cold and damp and reeks of beer. Well... It's one of those things anyway. Should probably throw these bottles out. Because actually I've become an alcoholic in the last day. I've, I've, I've become one. I have thousands of beer bottles in here. It's absolutely disgusting and I'm constantly drunk off my ass and unable to improvise my own lines. Terrible. Uh, Captain Johnson Ellensworth. That's a door we can't get into. Uh, I think I'm going to go have another drink now. Uh. It's good being an alcoholic, it really is. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna take the person <laughs> off the dude. <laughs> Especially the red ones. They got blood and spice in them. So, yeah, I get the feeling like I should just go out here for no explainable reason whatsoever. Don't you agree? <coughs> yes, I thought so. Who's nosing about, thine? So, yes, you see, you want to go in this way. Well, you don't have to go in this way, but if you do, you get to drink. And drink 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 and stuff your face full of sugar, and then maybe eat some Weedios. Those are tasty. Uh, Weedios. This is the... No, it's not the worst idea I've ever had. That would be uh, becoming an alcoholic. At least according to other people, but... As I said, it's great to be an alcoholic. I thought that was a simple scratch, but it was a gate key that I don't even need, so hey, whatever. 
Mortimer, see to it that the carriage is ready for our departure for the winter cottage at dawn on the morrow. You will recall that the driver complained of steering issues on our last journey, and I trust those have been addressed, and the carriage will be roadworthy upon our departure. Lord Highwater. So, you want to go in here first, if you want to catch all the flies. And who wouldn't? Tasty. Uh, after becoming an alcoholic, I really decided, hey, I can do anything, so I became a spider as well, an alcoholic spider. They said it was impossible, but they're a bunch of stupid assholes, so fuck them. All right, you. That's why it's called a feud, Benny. The two families hate one another. <sighs> All right, what is it? Well, just wondering why I saw Master Robert uh, licking his googly eyes at the Fairbanks girl uh, at the masquerade ball a few months ago. Benny, what were you doing at the masquerade ball? Good old Master Thief 3, the best at that one voice ever, 3 Thief the Master, and whoever does the Benny voice is also pretty good. So, basically, I, I like this. However, now that I've heard those two fools talk, I should uh, hear them talk again. What do I mean? Well, you'll just have to see, won't you? So... Before that, though, if I want, I can go in this <laughs> vent. Theoretically. There we go. And, uh, you know, normally vents lead you places, but this is the cruelest joke of them all because this is no place. No place and no face. It's Lord Albert Highwater's tomb and we can't get in. Sigh. Well, there's a gatekeeper. Perhaps it's for the... No, it isn't. And I knew that already. You know, I just thought maybe I'd pretend that I didn't. So, Marie Highwater? I don't know. I just thought the names would be pretty fascinating. Evelyn, that's a pretty fascinating name. I was fascinated by Evelyn for oh, many, many years. Russell, that's a real name. And then here's another gate we can't do nothing with. So, the vent leads you here, but you can't really steal all that much, so it's quite unfortunate. Although we can vandalize the property. Boop. Ghost mode busted. Again, you have successfully rotted. Me. Thief is a I'll game all about seeing people behind you and just quietly dealing with it. Thief is a game about not saying anything. So one should say nothing whilst one plays. Fortunately, I'm known to obey all... <gasps> Rules. So you will not hear me. Ever. Again. Oh my god, it's blood! Crocky, but what a show it was, sir. Uh, there was blood on the floor and everything. There was a heater that went... Sometimes, fortunately, I can turn that off if I want to. You'd think there'd be something down here, a coin, or a water arrow, or a lottery ticket. Because... When one is a single person who only needs to buy food for oneself... No, I'm going somewhere with this. Just, just hear me out. One must go to the grocery store and decide when one buys one's groceries whether to go to an ordinary checkout and wait in a big long line full of people with actual huge shopping carts for an entire family, 
or whether to go to the express checkout, which is only express if it does not contain an old lady very slowly purchasing a lottery ticket or ten in front of you and kind of going, uh, yes, I'll take the, one of the super extra, no, 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 uh, no, uh, two, two of the super, uh, actually, I'm not sure. I, I want to pick the one that, that's a winner, you see? And the clerk's like, oh, yeah, you, you sure do. We wouldn't want one that isn't a winner. <laughs> Pardon? I said we wouldn't want one that isn't a winner. Oh, yes, uh, well, oh, oh, dear, I, I think I'll have a uh, five of these, actually. And, 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 oh, while we're at it, uh, I'll, I'll turn in this, this other one that I have to see if it's a winner. Uh, okay. What was that? I said, okay. Uh, oh, not a winner today. Oh, 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 oh dear. I, I thought, I thought it, it would be a winner. Pardon? I, I thought it would be a winner, but it isn't. That's, that's strange. I, do you think one of these five will be a winner? Etc. That happened once, so therefore I act like it happens all the time, like it's some sort of thing. Never you mind. What was that? Wow, I'm, I'm playing good today. I even woke up this idiot. <laughs> what? What is with the volume on it? Never mind. I said that thing that everybody wants to hear about again. But, uh, but in here is something that you really are going to want to hear. You ready? Ah, uh, the sounds of bathrooms. Hiccups. Sinks. Ah, uh, let me just, uh, let me just use the bathroom. And by use, I mean sort of peer down it and just not really do anything. Well, uh, okay, let's say hi to Bob in here. <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> anyway, let's leave him to sleep there forever in dusty peace. I think I think that's what people say at a funeral, and I should know all about funeral speech. I am, after all, uh, a voice actor who talks funeral stuff all the time. Bruh. So, okay, so you could go into the freezer here. Sure. You could eat some fish. We could eat some ice. We could eat some dust. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love this. Um, Benny, what on earth are you doing guarding the freezer? I captured a prowler in there. <laughs> I'm guarding it till the captain gets here. A prowler is locked in the freezer. Mm hmm. All right, well then, open it up and let's see. Oh, don't believe me, eh, Roger? Well, I'll show you. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? <laughs> I love that. I'm freaking sorry. Not sorry. I love that. All right, well, let's leave those two fools to their hideous games. And let's love an LGBTQBCADZ person. Oh, I, that sounded a little bit like mocking. I didn't mean to. I just, you know, I have to say funny things, and sometimes... Sometimes funny things go ping and ploppy things go clack. <sighs> but, well, nevertheless, I'm on the internet, so I'm sure I'll be forgiven of all my crimes unless I was some sort of New Age guru. Uh, okay, okay, I'm about to be a New Age guru so that I don't get forgiven for my crimes. Sound like a good idea? Okay, uh, let's see. Mm. Hey, step right up and learn life doesn't have to suck sometimes. Uh, oh, hey, uh, buy my book that's entertaining and kind of, like, is fun to read and doesn't cost very much and doesn't really hurt anybody and is going to 
make you feel better than reading 1984, which is far more recommended. Oh, oh hey, guys, I got rich. I'm going to show you how I got rich, which isn't going to work for anyone else because it's unique to every person because I'm not quite aware of that. But I'm good on stage. Ho, ho, Iron World's going to teach you how to get money. <laughs> Esther, before... <laughs> We return from our vacation. Please retrieve the black sword from my father's crypt and clean it. But be most careful with it. Although it is very old, its edge is still keen. I trust you alone to handle this task with respect and discretion. Lord. <sighs> and there's Han Solo. He's forcing himself upon a lady who is presumably greatly enjoying it because they have no choice in the matter when they're accosted by Robin Hood. It's a, kind of difficult to tell if she's enjoying it or not, actually. Uh, better just to err on the side of not really assuming anything. Also, nice automatic light that is pretty sure there for the sole purpose of having this fancy effect here where the thing gets... <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure Yandros made that just so he could do that, but eh. Hey, whatever. Plippy things deserve plongs. Payroll. How realistic. Yes, this is not openable. You may wonder why. You also may wonder why can't we steal Dewdrop from right under this girl's arm? Just guy walking in here. Excuse me, excuse No, no worries. No worries. I, I ain't gonna take your stuff. I ain't gonna kidnap you. I ain't gonna stab you. No worries. Just um, I just want your dewdrop doll so that I can count it in my mission stats. No worries. Just just I'll have that. Thanks. Gonna leave now. And that's how you politely thief. And that's CA for Canada. She has become Canadian. She must be sent to the Canadianness curing clinic because we hate people who are different than us. Personally, you know, I kind of get this inexplicable feeling like I want some pie. Oh well, sacrifices must be made. It's difficult sometimes to try and raise little Gloria here in the mansion. What up, Gloria? Evie and I work long days and should spend more time with her, but she seems to be adjusting reasonably well. It's wonderful that she seems to be friends with young Anne, but there are times when the line between noble and servant is evident even between children. Still, she has a playmate, and that's invaluable. The family is leaving on a winter holiday, gone for several days, and to be honest, I hate it when they're gone. Some of the staff take liberties far beyond their due, and I just know something bad will happen one of these days. Still, at least it means less work and more sleep, and time with Gloria. Evie seems to be glad for the break as well. Gloria seems a bit down now the family has left. I think she misses the other children, especially Anne and George. Oh, sweet. Sometimes clocks like this are valuable, but not today. Right. Wow. I should probably look at my map, by the way. There's a map. It's quite well done. There's even a little crack in it. Which actually is well done, isn't it? Astounding. There's different floors, and there's the office, and then there is something at some point here that I'm going to be complaining about, so look forward to that. Where's the guy who bees here? For real? I mean, no spoilers or nothing, but there's a guy who's supposed to be here. <sighs> no where the heck he got to, but sure. He's the cook, and he's fat because he's a cook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that's referring to the deer leg thing, but I don't know why it would be more than just... Ugh. Yeah, culinary thoughts. A journal by Aaron Hardy. 13-year-old pop star who jumps up, jumps up, and gets down supreme. Hi, high water estate chef. I accepted my new position as the chef at the high water estate today. After years of training and working under other chefs, I'm finally one myself. It feels great, and the pay is fantastic. 
I found out last night that, although I'm the chef, I still have to sleep in a common room with the other servants. How ridiculous! This may be my first head chef job, but I still deserve my own room. Ellensworth, the captain of the guard, told me to quit crying about the bed situation and make him a sandwich. I told him to where he could shove that sandwich, but he gave me such a look that I just had Esther do it right away. Something tells me that he's going to be trouble. I'm getting the hang of managing inventory down in the storeroom and ordering ingredients in advance. Good thing the lady wasn't too pleased when I ran out of flour and there was no bread for the children for two days. Best not to let that happen again. I've settled into the position here, and Ellensworth hasn't given me any trouble recently. Seems he really loved the goose I made for the Harvest Festival dinner. Now, if I can just get Lord H to raise my budget, I can start experimenting with some more exquisite ingredients, and I can really start impressing everyone with my recipe ideas. Made goose again for the New Year celebration. The Lord and Lady loved it, as did little George and the children. But the captain seemed unimpressed, even though it was better than the one I made in November. He seems so mercurial. I just can't seem to read him. Everything about him seems to change without warning. Dangerous guy. The family is leaving for winter holiday tomorrow, and Esther tells me it means we all get to relax and have a good time, as long as Ellensworth doesn't let being in charge go to his head. Hell, he can't watch us all at once. I wish I could join in on the fun, but I have too much work to do getting ready for next week's costume ball. With 35 on the invite list, much of the preparation has to be started days in advance. I'll probably be roasting chickens and baking well into the night, starting tomorrow. Ellensworth punched Esther in the face last week for serving cold soup. I told her how sorry I was. It was my fault I didn't heat it long enough. Got to make sure it's hot from now on. What a mean bastard. Also, you... Give me your thing, man. Thank you. Well, it's back down to Heckland. Uh-oh. The heck... Somebody is a step in a... Another servant? Sure. Oh yeah, I love those little... Put them out and take them candles. Put them out and take them candles. That's a thing I said just now. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Don't y'all worry about that dead twin of yours. Whoa. Uh -oh. Hello? Oh, what? Anyone there? Oh, that guy's coming down here again. Hmm. Bugger it. Being a thief is hard. You know what? Ever since I switched from a headset mic to this mic on a stand, I've had to sit in exactly the same position. I should switch back. If I was LPing, but I'm not. I'm retired, so shut up. What are you doing, mate? Thing. You're doing thing. Fine. Dang it. Also, this hall, you may notice, is... Oh, jeez. It's rather awesome because it's got these lights on when you turn them off. Those little night lights that? come on automatically. Don't hurt me! God damn it. Okay, I don't know what the heck that was. Anyway, as I said, it's neat. And these night lights are purple, which is even neater. You may wonder what could possibly be in this door. Well, some stairs down. Not important. <clears throat> hmm. This place is getting to me. Oh, that's all right. Back to work. Yeah. Some old conversations chopped up and reused, but mostly new. It's a little bit odd, but you know, this mission has been in development for five decades now. So, it's only to be expected when it was begun when some of these people were not even born yet. They begun it sort of in the womb or even before the womb somehow, when they were a load of unmentionable fluids swimming about. I think... I'm going to just leave that train of thought directly there and never mention it again. <laughs> hmm. Thought I saw something. <laughs> Etc. That's what you do when you're laughing at funny things. Hey, you. You're losing. <gasps> See the machine guns ablaze and microphone fiend and a bust and faded, loved and hated, pump slugs into favor. Rappers, you punks ain't that courageous. Back. Etc. 
And, and I bought way too many equipments. I'm not using the moss arrows here. Now, you may be thinking, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Fan, you're not going to use the moss arrows anywhere. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> well, the joke's on you, pal, because What's guess that? what? I'm dead. <laughs> Cut, because guess what? That's right. Son, I'm using them here. Ha. Huh. Yokes on you, Eggman. Yes, Virginia, the trickster is real. Quoted of, uh, or paraphrased, of course, from the famous Yes, Virginia, Santa Claus is real letter, which sounds like a really awkward thing to say. I, oh no. Why? Oh, but. <laughs> Dancing's hilarious. And she's probably trying to do the robot, but sadly, this is a computer, so it's incapable of being robotic. Why? Hang on a minute. Okay, but yes, because Santa Claus isn't real. Like, I don't want to say it or nothing. You know, it's not a real person. So, no Virginia. But maybe they were being metaphorical. Eh? Or maybe, who cares? Right, you. Oh, he saw me there, did he? Shoot. Come on. Uh-oh. All right. Unfortunately, this is not taking a break. Interesting enough to read. So you may be wondering, Fen, when are you going to use the moss arrows upstairs? <laughs> right now. Good. That was a hilarious jape. Well. Now that we've... Well, well. Back to work. Now that we've... Japed... Our viewers... <laughs> I should probably... <laughs> stop everything I'm doing. And shoot myself directly in the head. But also strangle myself. Although, check this out. If I strangled myself... Then, eventually, I would stop getting air to my brain or whatever happens. And then, I would stop getting air to my hands. And then they would pneumatically stop gripping my neck and I would fail at strangling myself. So maybe that's not the best idea. But uh, I'm sure that some sort of lethal violence towards my own face will... Uh, will do. Alright? Great. Oh my god, it's another book. It's me and Jeffers guarding the staircases again. I suppose it's a good post. Beats having to walk around all night long, and sure as hell beats getting stuck outside. Plus, I get to walk up and down the stairs every so often to keep myself awake. I feel for the new kid Horace. He made the mistake of asking Ellensworth if he could have an indoor post, and now he'll be out there till the spring thaw. Well, he learned a lesson, I guess. I'm looking forward to the family leaving in a few days. It's nice to drink the good wine and play cards. With my skills, I always make some coin from the others. And as a bonus, Timothy is betting me a week's wages that Benny won't get drunk. I almost feel guilty taking such a sure bet. Jeffers is down sick today, so I got to keep an eye on both staircases. Not like anything is going to happen, of course, but it means more walking and sore feet in the morning. We all broke out the wine and got good and soused, and I'm meeting in the game room at 11 o'clock for cards. I didn't drink too much, because I gotta be sharp enough to make some money off these guys. They're all pretty slobbered, so it should be easy to make a few hundred off of them tonight. It's after 1am now, and I've sobered up and gone back to my post. I managed to win over 200 at the table. Pretty good night, but not like two years ago. Ah, that was a great night. Won 300 just off of old Barney. May he rest in peace. I'm pissed, though, about Benny. He's just been standing out there with Roger. Hasn't touched a drop. That bet with Timothy will wipe out my game winnings if I don't take care of things. I'll have to find a way to ply old Benny with some wine. Maybe I'll slip some hard liquor in it so one glass will have him stumbling about like the buffoon he is. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> is there somebody standing around? It's the Invisible Man. 
Oh man. That new I'll find you. What? Hello? That new mummy movie sure exists. I've never seen something so there. I don't know what <sighs> that was. Anyway, you may be asking, Finn, are you gonna stop wasting your moss arrows? And I say, <laughs> yes, in a moment. Ah, good. Lady of the Lake. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. That is a song called "Lady of the Lake" by uh, Herman Starcastle. It's just an incredible cover art. I'm even gonna put it up here because if I can't play the uh, inappropriate word yellow monetization icon game, I can at least play the black with a line through it monetization icon game. Even though album covers are not counted in that normally, I'm pretty sure. So never mind. But here it is. Uh, gotcha, sign it. Okay. Uh. Not again. Uh oh. So, uh oh. If I could just make it. Probably just the wind. Over there, everything would be fine. That way. Guess it's nothing now. Come away, light. Get lost! Sorry. Phrase of the day. Had in time sure has that phrase being said a lot, although that's. Colossal sport. Yeah, that's a weird dance. I don't even know if that's stock. Maybe it's from System Shock 2. Usually when weird motions exist, it's from System Shock 2 because nobody uses the motions editor because lol. Uh. Anyway, uh oh, I, th I tapped. Now you must pay the price for my crime. I don't think anybody with a lamp comes through here, so it's all good. At least that's the assumption I'm working under. I'm not much of a scientist, so I can be nonsensical if I want. Even though I just mocked other people for being nonsensical the other day, but like, look, it's fine to be nonsensical if I approve of it, but if, if I don't approve of it, then it's not fine, so just make sure of that and... <sighs> oh god, but look... <sighs> Sometimes you just know something and... Explanations are inadequate because you haven't thought about it that way, but you know it's the case. It sure is loud. That guy should get his you if you're all ripped out. <laughs> all right, you. Let me try a trick here. Let's see. Good-ish, anyway. An actual bone. Somebody coughed up yon finger bone. Great. I love it when that happens. <coughs> Means you had a fun time tonight. Your nerves were... Is that you, Kevin? ...shot with ice. And then another place in your body ended up with nerves that get shot with ice. But that place is a lot more despicable than the former place. So you really don't end up discussing it with your doctor or your lawyer or your 175th times removed cousin or your pet rabbit or your dog or your physiologist or your dentist or your great big hammer that you smash your head with or your emerald factory uh, these emeralds must be production prototypes you'd better find and steal them all optional well don't you worry I will Helen and Esther, please do a better job of keeping the bar and game room clean. After the party last weekend, there were still wine stains and coins on the floor the next morning. When we have guests staying overnight who might see the mess upon waking the next morning, it doesn't speak well of the staff. Make sure this improves the next time. Lady Highwater. P.S. And make Benny clean up his own messes. Please and thank you. <laughs> Stealing. Gambling! Many of our people have turned to crime! Crime! It's something you scratch on a turntable! It's a celebratory crime! Uh, so, uh, you know, this room is a very serious room. There's nothing to be laughed at here. <laughs> okay, perhaps minorly 
chuckled at. There's blood on the carpet, so that's pretty funny. Can't a guy nap around here? <laughs> anyway, that should be louder. The louder, the funnier. But anyways, I think you guys understand what is supposed to be funny about that scene. So, uh... Because I'm not doing these anymore, and instead gonna just shoot myself in the head after every single episode and die... Because that sounds better. I'm gonna go do that now, so... Okay. Business. <laughs> 